Yeah, being a black folks, and basically what I've done is we got the speed of going through space. And I've always told you we were going at least 66,000 miles an hour. Well, got an update for you. We're going 66,129 miles per hour through space, ladies and gentlemen. Earth oscillates almost like a bullet through space at usually an average of 60,000 miles an hour. We are going 6,129 miles per hour through space faster than we normally do on average. All right. Now, factual, we're taking a turn. If you go to NASA's or go to any software that will show you Earth's path through space as we rotate around the sun and the supergiants and everything else. But anyway, the sun is normal historical sun that we know is in the center of the Milky Way galaxy and we rotate around at 365 point something dates, days. We can know it's 365 days, but it's actually 365 point two something, two, two something, almost another quarter of a day or something like that in a year, okay? Uh, that's why you have late leap year. I think, what is it, every 10 years or something like that? It's nice to be a leap year baby. You only gain so many years. Anyway, it's a big old joke. But anyhow, that's how fast we're going through space, ladies and gentlemen, to the Nats ass right now. Okay? Now, more fact for you. Now, some good news, and then basically Mars is getting a CME that's directed towards for it. So we're going to get some good shots again from Sechi eventually because it'll probably be getting around to Mars about the 4th. Now, propaganda is what we cannot stand, okay? And basically, uh, the current bill that basically got passed on a Thursday, people, th th there's certain places that reported it, even that Russian uh, TV, RTV, which I'm still trying to find out who the hell owns that thing besides the CIA. So anyhow, uh, the solar activity is low uh, a little bit. Anyway, I don't really know. I'll have a Sechi one later today. But there is good news that we have propaganda uh, entering into uh, spaceweather.com, and I'm a little PO'd about it. Anyway, uh, they're showing a, which basically, it's the truth, uh, gravity held this uh, C-class flare back, okay? 1% uh, chance of an X-class flare, that's kind of a bunch of BS too, because we know we've seen an, we've had M-class uh, lately, huge Okay, so when they start giving you this, everything's calm on the sun, crap, it's kind of a bunch of crap, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I appreciate solar artists is being down and everything for the, uh, and also the two-minute, go watch the two-minute news dude at Suspicious. Matter of fact, I'll go to his site real fast because he does a real good thing, and he's got a lot of followers, folks. He gets people, 7,000 people a day see his videos. He doesn't get brushed to the back. Uh, he's pretty politically correct how he does it, and there's your asteroid that hit Cali. At least that's what we're led to believe. Okay, So uh, I think I already showed this a little bit before, but anyway, the Peter, what is it? His name there? So anyway with, or there's his name, and he's with the research center. Okay, So anyway, that's what they got from a parking lot, and they believe that a car ran that over, which I kind of doubt that. I think basically they picked up a bunch of pieces. Uh, if it hit a uh, tarmac in a parking lot, there's probably just the idea that it didn't make an indention in the tarmac. Uh, probably lost all of its velocity, okay? The speed that it came in on, yes. It comes through the atmosphere, and if it would hit something as it's going through, but then gravity-wise, that's how the astronauts come back to us. And I don't know what's up with that. We were supposed to have had two astronauts come back yesterday. So we'll check out on that. In most of this video, we're going to stay down on Earth and check out this. Now, on Saturday, there was a quake in Tonga, okay, 6.7, and here's the location for it. Okay. The interesting thing is when I go to the buoys, they have a lot of evidence really screwed up. Okay, now the one thing in Hawaii, uh, you got to remember that they always say, okay, in Hawaii there's no warning. Okay, no warning there in Hawaii. Okay, we had it down there. Then I was trying to find the data on how high that the possible, and there's your earthquakes lately for a little bit of a, shocker for anybody in the state side and it's still safe to be in Hawaii it's beautiful over there go over there and get up on top of the mountain at 13,700 something and check out the nighttime view of uh, of the stars and everything over there so anyway that's your map because last two days those blues are you got two four six seven uh, aloha mahalo to all the everybody in Hawaii so anyway now moving on through the data uh, it's trying to find the the wave for this quake that's 6.7 and the buoy thing is kind of basically uh, ever since we showed you the uh, data because basically I've went to these here and these here 
and I'm going to show you real fast going through here of some of the data that you're getting okay just minus 99 uh, and you'll get different templates with uh, the water height and so forth and so on so I'm going to keep clicking out of these as I go through but what happened is is you're going to see it more and more is the idea that you get these different plots and it's not showing you what we used to get for a plot for showing you uh, when, we, when you would click in I think I might be able to get it if I come back to that fast enough but it doesn't really matter we'll just keep clicking through these till be able to show you the uh, actual factual I've been looking for height because I, I figured okay that 6.7 it would be interesting to see what we had for buoy height and I was going through to look at the data and then you get this they're not going to show us okay wave height okay and then there's different templates on all these okay and you'll go searching for the data and I'll just keep on going through here and we'll get rid of that and I'll show you some more of what I've been looking and there's new templates and maybe they're up in the system and it's really a poor excuse because basically this has gotten hidden okay and then all I can do is get a temperature now the one interesting thing when I found in the temperature is the idea that we might find volcano heat because I kind of challenge anybody to go and find if they could ever get this kind of a plot and what it is it's that one I'm clicking on right there and if you go down through these it starts to emerge but check the underwater temperature it's like a hot water bottle underneath the water because that's temperature let me open this up to we'll put it up to 400 so you can maybe I don't know I haven't blown it up yep it's gonna look okay so what this thing does is it shows you the temperature of the water so if you're a fisherman or whatever like that it makes it awesome for a commercial fishermen or just anybody fishing if you're a good fisherman uh, you know you're gonna have your depth finder and you'll see the fish and everything like that anyway but then you can go by before you go out to fish you can go searching for temperatures in the water okay you got your uh, meters under the water your depth meter but check out that heat resignation that basically locked underneath the water and I challenge you and possibly you might and then I'll just get you guys who will be my data finders but I don't think you're gonna find data like this unless you find a volcano that's underneath the water that's putting off heat or possibly CPM and RADS, ladies and gentlemen, and we know the code word for that in the United States is ADS in CPU usage, and we know what RADS and CPM are, counts per minute of radiation, ladies and gentlemen, and if you want to put it up anybody's ass to get mad at you about talking about radiation, take out all the old nuclear fallout, and no, there's nothing happened but natural disaster of Fuka Fudge up, okay? Take and go to the internet and go to YouTube and take up any, and go to Itchy's site, and Itchy, email me. I don't know if I, I want to make sure she's okay. Ever since she took the video of the back of her vehicle, I was hoping that she wouldn't have put herself on the internet. A picture of her and her vehicle, and so forth and so on. Hopefully she was smart and it was somebody else's vehicle, so forth and so on, and whatever. But if you give me an email and let me know you're doing okay. So anyhow, uh, this is Beano Black, and basically we found a temperature plot where there's heat locked up underneath the ocean at 50 to 100 meters. Okay, you see that there, line there. Uh, basically to make you understand that we can go back real fast and I will pop down to 100% here again real fast so you understand what I'm saying and we will go back to looking at that plot and we'll pull up like farther down and you will see where it where it started coming in at you see how it was starting to emerge <coughs> now I challenge anybody that I don't think you'll end up finding something like a signature like that we just had you just see the emergence but right there just barely a little bit there okay but I don't think you're going to be able to see it when you go looking at any of these temperature plots, see a temperature underneath it like that. And if you do, then what the hell is it besides possibly a whale? Okay. But the number one thing is no matter what, it's either CPM, RADS, or a whale, or a volcano, heat underneath the water. Okay. Now I got Kumo, Kuno, 4183 Kuno, we're also going to take a look at. Okay. You see the, t the speed that is coming around? Number one thing is the size. 3.5 to 7.8 kilometers, kilometers. Okay, uh, it moves at 14.40 kilometers a second. Okay, now check it out. Anybody wants to? Everybody always talks about. You want to buy an island? Hey, you want to plan it? This thing moves through space, goes way out to 2. Point RU out, and I'll check, give you the stats on that in a second. Okay, but uh, I would say that some something scientific somewhere in the world, and basically there's a state. Uh, that I'm very proud of and basically there's a high school deal doing a uh, 110 I think mile high uh, 
going to take a uh, helium and they're putting a, a rocket up and they're going to take a picture of space and see what it really looks like up there. Okay, a little high school project. Uh, I wanted to uh, put a big old oorah out there for the, uh, the teachers and the parents there on doing that. And it's going to be interesting. And if it don't be dis you made, if it's, uh, if it's some kind of a, you know, doesn't go to true fruition and everything like that, you know, hey, you try. Uh, but it's going to be interesting to take a look at their little peeky boo that they're going to do with a little camera. Basically, uh, ham amateur TV. Okay, so basically this is all the data for 4183 Kuno. It's a minor planet, and yes, there's a shitload of minor planets out there, ladies and gentlemen. This thing was found in 1959, I believe. Current distance is 1957 IU, and I'll take you to JP, and this is information is more fresh uh, than Jet Propulsion Laboratory, because basically the Jet Propulsion Laboratory doesn't update as much as normal. Okay, now that is something like 11 million miles out, too. Okay, so uh, don't don't uh, freak out. But anyway, it's kind of an ass menagerie right now to find out wave height on a tsunami that because there was a tsunami warning and so forth and so on 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 that quake, that 6.7. Uh, and then it basically, I was looking for buoy heights and stuff like that, and basically just screwed up history. It just basically just shows Hawaii is not going to have any problem there in Hawaii and everything else. Now remember, around Thanksgiving time, there I had a phone call with somebody in the Philippines, and remember, military is doing exercise down in the Philippines, and so forth and so on, and to relax about whatever you see on video, because the idea that we are doing our normal practice now, Japan and Hawaii, uh, Japan and Ch China are arguing over an island that has a little airstrip on it that is really kind of goofy all of a sudden that they're arguing about a little, uh, anyway, Relax, because anything U.S. military down there, and we have tons of troops that are still over there, and we're moving our troops around from Midway Island to different areas. We're being allowed to be in other areas with their agreements with Japan, and everything seems to be really cool. And the guy from whatever Japan, prime minister this, that, or whatever, the representative from Japan is hanging out with Obama for the next three or four days. Okay, so uh, anyway, the data on these buoys, <laughs> history, forget it. You can't see it now. We'll try to find out what we had for waves on that uh and if anybody's a scrounge hound out there likes tearing up the data, uh, see if what you found for uh, wave height for uh, that tsunami. And save editing, folks, there really wasn't a tsunami, but there was a tsunami uh, printout for that 6.7, okay? So we'd like to see what we had for waves because a lot of that stuff is real shallow. If you can see here on the map that basically uh, it's real shallow there because there's a big high shelf of where it's trying to grow. Earth is trying to come up out of the ocean here along Papua New Guinea, this whole corner elbow out by Australia, New Zealand, okay? So, there you go, New Zealand's down there, okay? So, it's always growing, okay? They have that whole shelf out there, great fishing out there. Go on down to visit New, New Zealand and spend some money down there and make all the fishermen happy down there. Talk about, uh, anyway, later. Later in the day, folks, there is a, uh, the big knot right here in the so watch out for warm weather hitting this cold, okay? Hitting any of this cold coming across because that would be tornadoes and hail again. Something about like one person was killed with hail or something like that. Uh, it's crazy weather, okay? And we know weather uh, modification exists. Anyway, thanks for the weather, uh, the guy that was telling me that basically I made a video and I put up and I was looking at the data on the magnetosphere and I didn't look at the date and basically it was locked down and shut down for a while. Now, what's good about going to this site, and I've got it hi highlighted there and then maybe you can see it, is basically you go to this one and basically you can uh, see the aftermath tail a lot better. Okay, so you'll see if when we get going faster through space, <coughs> what kind of data you can get from that. Okay, and it's kind of bad that the magnetosphere is down. I believe it, it can now maybe Monday today, maybe it's all of a sudden is back up. I haven't been there, looked to see if it's still down yet or not. So uh, you can look at your our northern and southern hemisphere, our auroral, and that's Earth spinning through space at more than 66,000. What was it, 129 miles an hour or something like that? Go back to the beginning of the video. Okay, I'm not going to get specific, but somewhere in the Indian Ocean, uh, that should be the Indian Ocean, yep, 5.4 earthquake over there, okay, and then we'll take and go to the slider, and we'll throw the states in, and we'll put earth on there, and we'll throw the states, lines on there, and let's take a look at what's going on in good old USA. So there you go, 
and that's your intensity and then we can bring it all the way out and all unusual right up by the North Pole a fresh one and then ours all you